Hi, Dennis. Uh, Freescale launched, uh, I think, yesterday the smallest uh, ARM-based MCU in the world. That's right. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, yes, yes. Yeah. So it's the... Core one yes. with you, and we will show it to the audience later. So the KL02 is part of the Kinetis L-series family of products. It uh, was announced yesterday. It's the world's smallest ARM-based microcontroller. It is a two millimeter by 1.9 millimeter square device. Mm -hmm. It's 0 0.56 millimeter thick, so extremely small. You can really lose it. Yeah. Um, the device has 20 pins uh, with a 0 0.4 millimeter pitch. So it is a really uh, an extremely small product that's going to go into a wealth of application where space is really at a premium. Yeah, but we have to integrate such an MCU. You have to have such small devices. Yes. And what are the applications for, um, for such a small MCU? Well, actually, you know, there's there's a bunch of, of features on this device. Uh, so it's it's a full blown Cortex M0 Plus core mm -hmm. in there, running up to 48 megahertz. So it has a lot of performance. Uh, it has ADCs, timers, communication mm -hmm. interfaces. So everything that you would expect from a 30 bit micro. So this is certainly not a um, feature limited device. Mm -hmm. um, the applications are, again, everything that is going to be space constrained. So you could think about the Internet of Things, where you have sensor networks that needs to be positioned in many yeah. different locations and use very little power. For instance, get power from very small battery or energy harvesting mm -hmm. solutions. You could think about medical devices, so wearable patches or even yeah. devices that need to be swallowed. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing uh, where we see these devices being used is in consumer devices mm -hmm. to add features in very small form factor application. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. for instance, you could think about using this device as a sensor fusion device, mm -hmm. gathering sensors input, and waking up the main MCU yeah. in case the device being moved. So, think about very small cameras, think mm -hmm. about phones, think about smartwatches, where, of course, there's a bigger micro, but most of the time you want to keep it low power mode and wake the, and yeah, use that yeah, one to wake yeah. it up. Okay. <clears throat> when you talk about uh, energy harvesting applications, the uh, energy consumption must be very low. Yes. It must have a very low power device. How yes. So on, on the L series, we have had a lot of focus on low power. So first of all, dynamic power when a device mm -hmm. runs. Mm -hmm. On this device, um, we have a very low power run mode that takes about 40 microampere per mm -hmm. megahertz mm -hmm. at low frequency. Uh, the device provides more than 15 core mark per milliampere. So you can mm -hmm. do a lot with a very small budget. That's for dynamic power. For static power, uh, the device has a wealth of low power mode, so you can select yeah. everything you need on the device and get the lowest power for that mode. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, you can have the RTC running and maintaining the registers for less than a microampere on these mm -hmm. devices. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what do you think will the future bring? Will you build much smaller MCUs or is it the end? Well, I think we're really getting to a point where, you know, it's, it's so, so small that it, it really um, won't go much further. Mm -hmm. We are really now limited by the number of balls we can put on the device mm -hmm. and the soldering process. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I would say is that we see CSP, this kind of devices, and we also have CSP on the bigger K-series mm -hmm. devices, mm -hmm. becoming more prevalent in industry right now. You know, maybe five years ago, it was reserved for a very select number of applications. Mm -hmm. We see that going into many more applications right now, but going much smaller, uh, is not really what we want. What we want is creating a whole lineup of devices mm -hmm. that can scale from this one, which is the smallest yeah. one, to our much higher performance mm -hmm. devices, mm -hmm. still maintaining a very small factor. Okay. Thank you very much, Dennis. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you.